So with Frontier Falls completed at Drayton Manor Resort, what is the next project that Drayton Manor are going to focus on? Now, we discussed many, many moons ago about a five-year plan that was released from Drayton Manor. And when you look through that five-year plan, most of the stuff that has already come to fruition has all been ticked off the list, apart from a particular relocation of a certain ride that is planned for next year. Now, that particular ride is rumoured to be the Flying Dutchman. We have no other confirmation of that. But after that, it's a little bit sparse, apart from 2026, which in that document, which is still online to this day, just simply Google Drayton Manor five-year plan. It's not very well hidden whatsoever. It's actually the top search on Google. You'll see that in 2026, there was woodland lodges and accommodation planned for the resort but no other mention of any other new ride or new addition. With Frontier Falls now complete, you'd think that work would go underway on Accelerator and bringing that up to, to scratch to fit in with Frontier Falls. Maybe some new ride vehicles on Accelerator or, or just keeping the same shape, but like retheming it a little bit so it fits in with that Western theme. But what is the one space, other than the zoo, of course, which, which definitely needs some love, but what's the one space that's left? And it's a space that is coming up to its 10th year of being abandoned. The Pirates Adventure Building. Now, Pirates Adventure was a Mack Rides free flow boat ride that operated from July 1990 until it closed in 2015. Which means that next year will officially mark 10 years of the ride standing but not operating at the UK park. Now, theming from inside the ride was sold off at auction over the years. Now, thanks to Theme Park James for the particular Pirates Adventure footage that you're going to see throughout this video. As theming from inside the ride was mostly taken out, auctioned off or just scrapped in general. But there's some signs of life happening around the Pirate Adventure building over the last few months that make me query a few things. So I'm just going to ask the question in this video. On its 10th anniversary of being standing but not operating, are we finally going to get an answer of whether Pirates Adventure is going to be removed or restored? If you head over onto Drayton Talk, there's a forum celebrating all of Drayton Manor's history. And there's a Pirate Adventure Forum where people have been taking update photos of certain things happening around the Pirate Adventure building. I won't share those photos. Drayton Talk deserve the, the eyes on them. So if you want to go and see it for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description box below. It's a great forum where everybody chats all things Drayton Manor. So the things that are on there that are very easily searchable and can very easily be found are as follows. The pirate queue line is still intact and it's still easy to restore. Theming is also on the forum that you can see that was sold off at auction. Roof repairs after some damage this year is also highlighted. And also the turret that fell down was repaired and replaced. In May of this year, tree removal began around the side of the pirate's building. Ivy was also removed from the Pirates building to clean it up a little bit. In July, there was more of a clear out spotted. And in August, suspected ride vehicles were spotted leaving the park. Now, that last one is very intriguing. Now, there is a little Drayton graveyard next to the Drayton Manor Hotel. And those boats have been out and about around the park and sending them away to be permanently destroyed is one option or sending them back to Mack Rides for a refurbishment is the other option. Now, I'm leaning towards the latter. A little conversation over in Europa Park had me thinking as we were discussing water rides, uh, Mack water rides in general, and there was a hint that their presence in the UK was going to be more prolific over the next few years. Now, this could simply be a variety of parks that uh, could have a, a Mack water coaster or similar. Paulton's Park could have one. 
after they've just finished working with Mac on the gameplay theater, that's going to be Ghostly Manor. Their new Vikings area could have a Mac water coaster. Thorpe could be looking into a tidal wave replacement with a Mac water coaster. A certain Staffordshire theme park could be sniffing around a water coaster as the next secret weapon. There's lots of varieties of where a Mac water coaster could go. But if Mac have been more prolific in the UK, it's not out of the realms of possibility that Drayton Manor are in the conversation as well. If indeed they're working on a reimagining or restoring of this classic dark ride. Now, the things that are on Drayton Talk do beg a few questions. If you're scrapping the building, why would you replace its roof? If you're scrapping the building, why would you tidy the ivy off the building? And in terms of the clear out, that makes sense either or, if it's been removed entirely or if it's been refurbished. But repairing the roof is a strange one because you'd think if you're getting rid of it, it wouldn't matter, just, just lay it flat anyways in some time. And the ivy being cleared as well is more of a tidy up of a building you're intending to keep. So would it cost less for Drayton to restore pirates than it would be to remove the building and build something else from the ground up. It's very possible. Drayton could reuse the original ride system, get some new motors, new chains, new pumps, and definitely some work on structural safety and especially fire safety will have to be done as I'm damn sure that a building that has been abandoned for close to a decade isn't up to current regulation standard. On top of all those little murmurings, which are very faint murmurings at the moment, just things being tidied up almost and, and cleared out, that begs the question of when could we see a removal or a refurbishment? Now for me, with that 10 year anniversary of it being abandoned approaching, not, not a good anniversary for any park to have a ride abandoned that long, but to have the 10th anniversary of that announced with a revival would be a great piece of news for fans of Drayton Manor. And that would be the year that I would announce it, with it coming back triumphantly in 2026 or even 2027. One last little bit of information before I leave you guys is that a certain events company were planning to have a tour of the Pirates building until there was a last minute schedule change. Why would this be? Would this be coincidence? Or could this be something to do with the fact that work is taking place on that building, ready for removal or refurbishment? But speaking of events companies, I want to give a big shout out to your experience guide. Scott and the gang put on some incredible events where you'll meet genuine, honest, incredible people who will share a like-minded passion and enthusiasm for theme parks. The most affordable theme park events in the country. Great value for money. Head on over to your experience guide and book yourselves onto one of their events because they are superb. And I'll leave a link in the description box below. So, Pirate Adventure, Drayton Manor. What do you guys think? Could Mac be working on a little bit of restoration behind the scenes? Could some bulldozers come in next year and lay the bastard flat? <laughs> Why did I swear? <laughs> Either way, let me know in the comments box below what you think. And once again, thanks to James for allowing me to use some epic pirate adventure footage. I'd love to see it back personally, if that was me. I'd love to see it back just to, to finish off the area. If they're laying it flat and building something from the ground up would have to be something indoors for me anyways. I wouldn't want another ride outdoors. We'd need more indoor rides in the UK. The fact it hasn't been demolished is also a puzzling one. Like, Looping Group haven't demolished it. So that also gives me hope with how long it's been standing empty that there is some plans for it it just needs to be financially viable to do so at some point like it hasn't been laid flat yet so as long as it's still standing there's still hope there of a return and by the looks of the pov i mean i never went on the ride but it looked promising it didn't look like the best ride in the world far from it it looked like there was a lot of dark spaces it looked quite basic but the ride system was there it looked like quite ambient and quite fun so coming back with a refurb would be, for me, a, a, a logical choice. A, a ride that could actually put some effort into proper theming, not just barrels screwed it. No, we won't, go, we won't go there. We won't go there. Proper theming. Just something that they 
They've got the ability to do so. Stormforce 10, incredible Q-Line, beautifully themed. Accelerator's old Q-Line, beautifully themed. So I'd love to see that level of theming put into a dark ride experience. It's not out of the realms of possibility for them to actually do a, a dark ride justice and to do a nice dark ride uh, on a good quality. Definitely not on a Poulton's Park quality, but on a quality that people will appreciate if indeed a Pirates or a boat ride uh, came back. Once again, comment below. Is it staying or is it going? Will we find out one way or another as we approach 10 years of abandonment? It's a, it's a question, that's for damn sure. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!